Thank you, and Colonel Charles and Vita Graham and Ryan Lee. Also, members of the South High School family are Colonel Silva, Colonel Sada, Stephen Atleta, and Vita Graham, Brian Pacheco, and Brian Casillas, Mando Herrera, and Tony Antonio Lama, Cruz, Vinci Ali, and Jessica Hemet. Pals will be kicking off to start the game. Kicking for the Tigers will be 32, Andrew Myers. Santa Rosa will be receiving. Back to receive for Santa Rosa. The lead is number 16, Marcos Lopez. Back for Santa Rosa. Also back. Number 24, Zig Senna. 45 is Team Velarde. Andrew Maez getting ready to kick off. Marcos Lopez. Was no good. Camp was by the lead. Number 26, Ryan Lucas. For remains, Lion 6, Tile 0. I'd like to mention members of the chain gang. We have Orlando Archuleta, Juma Archuleta, Josh Suazo, Orlando Archuleta Jr., Mark Gonzalez, and Ray Garcia. Those are members of our chain gang out there. off a lot of action so one play and six points for Santa Rosa now they will be kicking off right to left to the Tigers here comes the kick it's a very short high kick taken by an up man at the 25 yard line for Taos running straight up the middle that's number 80 for Taos he gets out to about the 40 yard line where he's tackled by three Lions of Santa Rosa there so good starting field position for Taos although they wanted to start on defense and allowed a run back of the opening kickoff if you're just joining us a little late here Santa Rosa ran back the opening kickoff it is six to nothing here and now after the second kickoff, it is uh, it'll be Taos's first offensive play of the game. 
11 minutes, 42 seconds here in the first quarter. Taos coming off their huddle on the sideline is the, as they do on every opening series. They talk with their coach and then break that huddle on the sideline and go straight to line up over the ball. They've got one wide receiver on each side of the field, a wing on the left, and a running back. It's going to be a handoff to that wing up the middle. He's going to get stacked up and dropped right at the line of scrimmage. That's number 32 for Taos, Andrew Maez, who is normally a fullback, but he was lined up in a wing off the left side that time. It'll bring up second down and 10 for the Tigers. The ball spotted on the right-hand hash mark between the 40 and the 41-yard line. Taos huddling back at the 30. Now they break the huddle, come to the line of scrimmage. That was a new formation for Taos. Let's see what they do. They split one wide receiver on each side, same formation. Andrew Myers, the fullback, and a left wing. That's Isaac Gonzalez in the backfield. It's going to be a fake handoff to Gonzalez. Quarterback McCarthy running to his left, still rolling, wants to throw. He's being chased. He gets close to the sideline, and he gets hammered out of bounds about the 42-yard line. He was trying to get to the corner and couldn't quite turn it before he got hit there by number 32 for the Lions. That's Lawrence Aguirre, a junior for the Lions. Third down and long for the Tigers here on their opening possession. It'll be third down and eight with the ball spotted at the 42 yard line, still in Taos territory on the left hand hash mark. This will be an interesting defensive battle of the game tonight, seeing if the Taos defense can corral a very high scoring, potent Lions offense and a Lions defense against the Taos offense, the Lions defense that doesn't allow many points. Here's third down and eight, straight drop back. Now McCarthy rolling to his right, looking to throw. Now lobs the ball deep. And it's going to be intercepted at the 50. A high arcing ball picked off by number 34 for the Lions, and he's going to take it down the sideline for another Santa Rosa touchdown. That's number 30. Number 34, Isaac Velasquez, a sophomore cornerback for the Lions. And that ball floated into the near flat. They had two receivers in the area, but their cornerback read the ball, and as it floated towards the sideline, he ran up in front of the Taos receiver, caught it, and went down the sideline 50 yards for another Santa Rosa touchdown, and they still haven't had an offensive snap yet. Santa Rosa now lining up... Uh, for a two-point conversion attempt, they missed the kick on the extra point in the first one. Here's the snap. It's a misdirection on the right side, and they will walk into the end zone untouched. Santa Rosa runs a single wing, a misdirection offense, and their first snap trying that tonight is successful in the two-point attempt. That will bring their score up to 14 to nothing with 10 minutes and 9 seconds left to play in the first quarter. For Tigers, 18, Isaac Gonzalez. Lead 22, Lorenzo Rayel. Kicking off will be number 36, Robert Zamora. That was number 26, Devin Ortega on the return. It'll be first and 10 for Tigers at their own 25. Just about to the 25 yard line closer to the right hand hash mark. If you're just tuning in, Santa Rosa ran back the opening kickoff for a touchdown and then on Taos' first offensive possession, a third and eight play, sophomore quarterback Kevin McCarty intercepted. They ran it back for a touchdown. This will be Taos' second possession now, first and 10 from their 25. Here's a pitch to Gonzalez on the left side. Now turns it up, looking to go up towards the left hand hash mark. He's gonna get stopped no further than the line of scrimmage. Maybe forward progress will give him to the 25. It'll bring up second down and long for the Tigers. For that kickoff, we were saying Santa Rosa, of course, the defending back-to-back -back state champion, so a team that's won a lot of games, won a lot of high-pressure games, coming in very experienced and very confident with a 4-0 record. Taos also undefeated, maybe a little jittery early, giving up the kickoff return for a touchdown, and then uh, maybe an ill-advised pass that ends up in an interception return, trying to get the first down on third and eight, but uh, it goes the other way for six. Taos breaks the huddle, comes out, one wide receiver split on each side of the field, one running back, and that's Maez going, the fullback in motion, gives it to Gonzalez. He breaks free. He gets through the linebacker. He's going to get past the 30 and lunges to about the Isaac 32. Gonzalez Great okay. second and third Up efforts by the running back, Isaac Gonzalez, but it's going to be short of a first down after a gain of about seven. The officials are going to spot the ball at the 33-yard line, not quite to the left-hand hash mark, the far side of the field. It'll be third and two for the Tigers here. It was third and eight last time when they threw the interception. So 0 for 1 on third downs here. Let's see what they do. They're coming out in new formation so far on offense. 
They'll do it again. One wide receiver on each side of the field. Fullback Maez on the left wing. Gonzalez, the lone running back in the backfield. They're going to hand off to him right up the middle. He gets hit in the backfield. Second effort's going to get him to about the 34-yard line. Not quite enough for a first down. Again, it wanted to play. Fourth and one. Great second and third Fourth efforts. And again, by Gonzalez, I think he learned that from Max Suaz over the last couple of years, just refusing to go down on initial contact, but he got hit in the backfield. That slowed him down enough that it's going to bring up fourth down and one at the Taos 34. Taos coming out in punt formation. Tigers will be punting. Back for Santa Rosa, be 35 to Velasquez. Eight minutes and ticking here in the first quarter. Officials now respotting the ball on the left hand hash mark. Here's the snap, it's good. The kick is up and away. It's a high end over end kick that's gonna bounce at the 42 and is picked up by a Taos player there at the 42, not giving Santa Rosa a chance to, to run back that kick after they ran back the opening kickoff. So a change of possession here. Santa Rosa taking over an offense for the first time we talked about in the pregame show. They've scored more than 40 points in each of their four games so far. So a very high scoring potent offense. They run a single wing offense, which is primarily running the ball. You won't see them throw it very often. And it's a misdirection offense. So it's where they, they have a lot of moving parts and a lot of misdirection. So you don't know who has the ball. And uh, by the time you figure it out, they've already gone past you. Here's the first snap. They're going to pitch it to the right hand side, number 15. He breaks free into the secondary, gets all the way out to the sideline. That's first down and more all the way into Taos territory to about the 41 yard Lopez. line of Taos. Marcus Lopez on the carry is all the way down. Just as we said, that was a pretty simple. Uh, uh, it was almost a pitch, a very short pitch off to the right side, but excellent blocking and a big gain. Very quick running backs. They're not big necessarily, but again, it's a, a confusion-based offense. They'll have uh, two two players in the backfield and a wing. Quarterback under center. It's a direct snap in the backfield again off the right side. Breaks it into the secondary again. He's running into the free to the 30. Now coming to the near sideline. He's to the hash mark. He's got Taos players in front of him, but he's inside the 10 and ridden out of bounds at the 6-yard line. So a direct snap Marcus that time Lopez to number 16. That's Marcus Lopez, the senior. So they've got two men in the backfield and a quarterback and then a wing that's set real short, like behind the, the tackle. And they snap the ball. You don't know who's got it. And then they all spin around and go different directions. So the defensive house not knowing who to tackle. And by the time they figure it out, they're already into the linebackers and beyond. So two running plays and two big games for Santa Rosa. They're inside the 10 with first down. I don't even know who had the ball in that play. It was a handoff up the middle. They spun around. They sent one guy wide to the right, one guy wide to the left. Everybody runs in different directions. That time the ball carry went right up the middle. Taos figured out who it was and takes him down at the one-yard line. It'll be second down and goal from the one. Second goal from about the one-yard line. Santa Rosa breaks the line of scrimmage. I mean, breaks the huddle, comes to the line of scrimmage. Again, three men in the backfield. They're going to hand off over to the right side and walk into the end zone for the touchdown. And for the scorer, number 16. We've seen these kind of defenses before, Lopez. and uh, uh, it's, it's confusing. It's just uh, for a defense to figure out who has the ball and who's going what direction. And it's difficult for us up here uh, in the press box, too, to see who's got the ball until they're already past the line of scrimmage. So another touchdown for Santa Rosa. They line up to try an extra point kick again. They missed their first point after attempt and then went for two and got it. Here's the snap. The ball is up. And this one is good. So Santa Rosa extends their lead to 21 to nothing over the home Tigers. Six minutes, 42 seconds left in the first quarter. Before the kickoff, I'd like to welcome Max Swazo back. Welcome back, Max. Good to see you. Back for the Tigers will be 18. Isaac Lawrence, 26. Devin Ortega kicking for Santa Rosa will be 36. That's Robert Zamora. <laughs> For San Rosa, number 16, Marcus Lopez. But Isaac takes it all the way into San Rosa territory at the 49, where the first and 10 for the Tigers.
Kim O'Carty dropped for a loss all the way back into Tiger Territory at about the 46. Loss of five, it'll be second and 15. Pitch was to Lorenzo, number 22, Lorenzo Rayal. Indication is holding against the Tigers. Ball is moved all the way to the 30 yard line where the second down in about 21. Second down 21. The second and 21 for the Tigers. 31. Flag on the play. Lorenzo Rayel picks up the fumble, returns it back to about the line of scrimmage. Indication is personal fall face mask against Santa Rosa. Once again, I should remind everybody. Uh, there's some girls going around selling 50 50 chances for a dollar. Split the pop. Split the pop 50 50 and also. They're marching the ball forward. He went out of bounds at about the 30. They're going to bring the ball out. The nose of the ball just touching the 50 yard line. So basically, just at midfield. Ball spotted on the left hand hash mark. It will remain second down. So a big break for the Tigers there after a, a fumble picked up by Taos and run forward. Now the officials stop the clock. Taos is going to take a timeout here to, to catch their breath and, and regroup a little bit. It'll be second down and 16. Zero State Farm Agency. Thanks to George Barnes there for the spot here. Five minutes, five seconds left to play in the first quarter. This is the Texas State Towns early down to the one nothing down. Their second down, about 16. Ball spotted at the top of the field. Their third offensive possession. Ball's on the left hand. Ash White House taking it off. Gonzalez has thought that the game was about two. He's, only gonna, he, he's actually going to lose yards. The ball was originally spotted uh, close to midfield, uh, but he's going to end up losing a yard or two. It's going to be third down. I'm sorry, the ball must have been spotted at the 45 before. The ball's now spotted at the 47, between the 47 and the 48-yard line. Still third down here, third down and long, about 14 for the Tigers. They come to the line of scrimmage. 
One wide receiver on each side. Gonzalez a wing on the side. Rael behind him. Straight drop back now looking to throw. Now the quarterback's going to run. He gets hit, but he's going to run forward to the 45 into Santa Rosa territory to about the 42-yard line, but they had to get to the 39 for a first down. That was actually good positive yardage for the Tigers, something we haven't seen uh, the sophomore quarterback McCarty do very often. You know, Drop back to pass and then tuck it and run. Showed some quickness there, but not quite enough for the first down. It's going to bring up fourth down uh, and a poor spot on the ball. They're going to end up being fourth down and four. In Santa Rosa territory at the 43 yard line but not quite enough to get that first down so Taos now in punt formation in Santa Rosa territory it's going to be a short snap it's a fake they got a guy wide open they are going to catch the ball it's going to be enough for a first down for Taos so a well executed fake punt that's number 88 Nick Limley the tight end sneaking out it was a short snap to the protector it throws the ball off to, to the left side where it is caught for a first down well played Fake punt there for Taos. I'm surprised the Santa Rosa didn't sniff that out. It was at the 43-yard line, but uh, I guess they just assumed Taos was going to lay down. But this Taos offense says, no, we're going to keep driving. A well-executed fake punt gets Taos the first down. The ball now spotted at the 36-yard line in Santa Rosa territory. Ball spotted on the left-hand hash mark, the far side for the Tigers. There to the line of scrimmage. Eye formation, one wide receiver on each side. Hand off to Gonzalez up the middle. He's going to get met right at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Isaac uh, had bounced it out last time and, and lost a yard or two. This time he stayed true, tried to run it up into the hole. He got hit there by two linemen for Santa Rosa and taken down. He's going to lose a yard on that play. It'll be second down and 11 for the Tigers. Two minutes, 50 seconds, and counting. The home Taos Tigers down 21 to nothing early here against a very good Santa Rosa team. Very good defense, and so let's see if Taos can keep chipping away at a Santa Rosa defense that doesn't give up many points in the game. Man in motion now. Eye formation behind the quarterback. It's a pitch to Gonzalez coming to the right side. He gets a good block. Gets on the right side and drives forward. There's four different Santa Rosa players. Isaac Gonzalez continues to drive forward. Gets to about the 31 yard line. So good gain there for Gonzalez. But it was second down and long and it will remain third down and about six on this play. Six coming up. Good blocking there, number 42, Michael Suazo downfield trying to help out, but Gonzalez showing some real toughness in this game. He hasn't been able to break it except on the kickoff return, so he hasn't had a lot of open field running, but he's been putting his head and shoulders down and driving forward against the Santa Rosa Lions here. Third down and about six for the Tigers, a man on a wing, one man, Rael, in the backfield by himself. McCarty wants to throw straight drop back. He's going to get hit now. He pushes forward. He's going to squirt forward past the 30-yard line, bounces off a tackle, spins around, still on his feet. It's, it looks like a rugby scrum as Taos players are pushing one way and Santa Rosa pushing the other way. He's going to get taken down at about the 26-yard line. It'll be very close to first down yardage on second and third efforts there by McCarty, and the officials will signal a first down for the Tigers. He wanted to pass, he dropped back, the pocket collapsed, he spun out of one tackle, went forward, got hit by the linebackers, and he actually spun away from that, and they were holding on to him, but he was able to stay on his feet and drive forward to get all the way to the 26-yard line. So another first down for the Tigers. Ball spotted on the right-hand hash mark and driving here with one minute and 20 seconds left in the first quarter. They break their huddle, come to the line of scrimmage. One wide receiver on each side of the field. Gonzalez in the backfield by himself. It's a pitch to him here on the near side. He tries to hit the hole quickly, but into the backfield quickly. Number 83 for Santa Rosa. That's Miguel Cisneros, the senior defensive end. And he's, he's one of their bigger players, but he's also quick. He's 6'2", 200 pounds, but he's able to jump in there real quick uh, and plug that hole before Gonzalez could get past that initial line of scrimmage. No gain officially on the play. It'll be second down and 10. You might can hear through the press box here, the band is here again tonight. That's nice. Uh, nice to see a lot of enthusiasm around an undefeated Tiger team, but a big test tonight. Second down and 10 coming to the line of scrimmage. This likely to be the last play in the first quarter. Quarterback under center, and Santa Rosa is going to jump off sides. Clock will stop with 29 seconds. Taos came to the line of scrimmage, and it seemed like a little bit of a long snap count, and half the Santa Rosa line jumped forward. So that's a penalty against them, and we'll gain Taos five yards. That'll make it second down and about five for the Tigers. Ball spotted on the right-hand hash mark with the nose of the ball touching the 20-yard line. The clock has been restarted, 22 seconds and counting. Taos breaks their huddle, comes to the line of scrimmage. They send one man wide on each side. Isaac Gonzalez will be a wing off the left tackle, and that's number 22, Rael, in the backfield by himself. 
Here's a fake handoff. McCarty's rolling to his left. He's got room open. Throws the ball to Gonzalez. The ball is well short of the intended receiver. Gonzalez was about the 10-yard line, and the ball bounced at about the 12. So um, maybe uh, remembering the interception that he threw when the ball floated a little bit earlier in the game, threw that ball a little short, and Gonzalez couldn't get back to it. Incomplete. It'll be third down and five. Five seconds remaining on the clock here in the first half after the incomplete pass. House breaks their huddle, comes to the line of scrimmage. They send one man wide on each side. This time, I formation. Andrew Maya's the fullback. Isaac Gonzalez behind him with his hands on his knees. Quarterback under center. It's going to be a handoff to Gonzalez right up the middle. He finally breaks free, gets a little bit of a hole, and gets inside the 15 to the 14 yard line. That should be enough for another first down for the Tigers as the clock expires here in the first quarter. 